All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Killing Room. It has nothing to do with Killing Floor, except for maybe, maybe relevance, I'm not entirely sure. It looks like we got random characters that are randomly generated. I think there's a, uh, oh yeah, there's totally a, uh, st st stream integration. So if we do want to do stream, oh my god, this is huge. All right, well, we'll figure this out. Anyway, I'm going to do the stream integration later, because this is currently offline. So this is a first-person shooter, so we've got WASD, F to grab, R to reload, E to use kick, Q to show map, character screen, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, weapon slots. I mean, seems basic enough. This is the 13th tip we wrote for you and missed it. Ah, that's okay. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, I've, there's been a ton of FPS roguelikes out lately. Okay, uh, for starters, options, video, blur, off. F of V, maybe a bit higher, I tend to get kind of motion sick from this. SFX volume. Don't know if that counts music. Do I have a gun? Do not have a gun. Alright, press E to interact with objects. Oh, hi. Talk to the receptionist. Please go to the elevator, which will take you to the training floor. Call me if you survive. They did that very much on purpose. You know what I'm talking about. All right, I'm going to crank the volume up a bit. Should be fine. I don't have any weapons. This is pretty old school looking. Really? I just had to go through that? And did you know you lose popularity for entering main rooms and gain popularity for entering side rooms? Okay. So there's a popularity system. The weapon on the table. Some doors and coffins are locked. You must use a lock pick to get them open. What? Really? Okay. Shoot the bastard. Explosions are a great way to deal with enemies. Take the barrel and move it next to the new one, and then boom. This is weird. Explosives may seem a little bit too dangerous, but don't worry. Give it a try. Um. This tutorial is painful. Like, turn truly. On. I mean, turn over the tables and use them as a cover. This is... Grab those boo boxes and make a way up for yourself. This is painful. It looks nicer than all the other... FPS roguelikes I've played late lately, but goo that announcer tutorial chick, not my kind of not not my jam. I can't wait until we just play this regularly. Oh, so we have a bear trap. Gotcha. Ridiculous. Nothing good ever comes from the fridges. Only monsters and what pick up items as they are useful. Don't forget to pick Okay, so item. Contestant pass. What's this do? Extra crit, accuracy, ammo damage. Permanent items like this one are specific. They never disappear from your inventory, even if you die. You get them after reaching some milestones, and they're very powerful. Oh! So these are like Truly permanent things. So what's this? Random item critical hit. So this might mean like uh, there's kind of a progressive upgrade system between runs. Well, that'll be nice. Can I not do... Okay, floor one of eight. So it looks like we're actually, actually playing the game now. That's good. It's kind of unfortunate that there's no, um... That there's no crosshair. Maybe it's something we get our hands on as we go along. Well, one way or another... We've got new weapon. I'm going to switch back to the pistol for the time being. OK. 
Okay. Looks like... Rotation is not an easy thing to do. These are freaky. And that exploded for some arbitrary reason that I'm not, not entirely sure. And why did I do that? I have no idea. How much HP do I even have? Okay, well, let's go take a look at this. Say, I'm a dick. Oh, I have max health? Wait, that didn't hurt me? Oh, maybe it took off my armor. That's entirely possible. I wonder if there's a way to trigger bear traps by shooting at them. I'll have to pay attention to that. Anyway, let's check out side rooms and see, see what kind of stuff we get. Where's our popularity? There it is. Okay, we want to stay away from these guys. There's some kind of weird, freaky fly swatter. There we go. Okay, so what's this? First slot is for pistols only. I have a fly swatter. I don't think I'm going to go with it. I thought I'd have, like, a third weapon here. Oh, well. Okay, so we have overturn for cover. We've got some kind of weird... What is this thing? Use teleport. So that didn't net me anything special. Okay. So do the audience members get pissy at me for this kind of thing? So apart from this, ah, right. This is the other question I want to ask. Doesn't look like I can shoot uh, bear traps even if I wanted to. Okay, shut up and take my money. Oh, I see. I can, I can, um, I can trade money for, uh, popularity for money. Good to know. Well, let's go check out side rooms for the time being. Looks like we've give it, give it got a bunch of those. I'm not entirely sure what the point of it all is. Luckily, it seems like you can kind of kite enemies around. I'm not entirely sure why. Or what the point of all of it is? Well, I don't... What? Well, not the point of all of it is. I don't understand, like, half of this game. But that's okay. You're freaky. I'm surprised they're all just, like, weird, floaty, kiteable things. EDUs. I've saved the duck. Righto. Oh, right. Try to unlock the coffin. And that's my only lockpick. Okay, let's not do that again. Yeah, so I don't have any more lockpicks. I guess we'll have to go for more. Doesn't look like we have anything useful. Extra popularity, extra bad item. I think I'm going to stay away from that for the time being. So what's in here? Just a health thing that we're not going to trade. And let's keep going. Okay. That's That was mildly useless. Grab that, keep kiting, it's just one more horrifying baby creature, and then we're good. Okay, so we've got another do not disturb coffin thing. It doesn't seem like we have anything else useful. Side rooms. Always side rooms. Oh, this one's locked? No, what? Okay, so... Th these guys are... much faster. What's this? Hipster beard! New item, you're a hipster. It's a normal item. Bonus for visiting the cafe. Discount on flannel shirt. Right. Lucky me. Well, I mean, the benefit to all of this game is it's, like, kind of cheap. I think this game's, like, six bucks. So I'm being a little bit forgiving of, like, the couple of issues that I can kind of point out rather easily. Uh, it's awkward. The animations don't trigger very well. Animations are glitchy and there's not a whole lot of... There's not a whole lot of, like, transference, uh, what am I gonna say? Transference? I don't know. Medkit. Max health. Shut up and take my money. Let's see what we got here. So we got a mystery box. Lockpicks. How much money do I have? I actually don't know. Tab? Oh, interesting. I might be able to, like, level up here. So I got 650. Yeah, I don't know what shop is, or any of this stuff is. Because I have that permanent. Okay. We've got armor. Oh. What you got in the back? 
For 7,000, I could get the Schnell, but I can't do that. So let's grab the lockpick and mystery box. We get a new item. Penalty, minus one magazines. Crop. Okay, well, that's probably fine. Here we go. Yeah, it's normal, so it's not permanent. All right, that's fine. Let's let's just keep forging ahead. I don't mind this game. Uh, it's probably the best of the uh, first-person shooter roguelikes I've seen lately. Um, just because. But it is also weird. It is also really weird. Okay, worldwide statistics. That's neat. Okay. This is the kind of thing I probably want to... Oh. Okay. Jump over the bosses. Thing... I'm totally out of ammo for this, aren't I? Okay, that's fine. I can kite around him. I don't see any more explosives. But that's probably okay. <laughs> Oh, I really wish there was an auto-reload function in this game. Just because... Oh, boss is almost dead, we're barely injured, and room complete. Okay, well that was easy enough. Alright, so let's pick whatever the hell this is. Oh, boss eye. Dead but keen, this eye has some supernatural qualities. You get a crosshair! Finally! Okay, we get a little bit of money, so we get two to three magazines. Don't care that much. I don't know why my popularity sucks right now, but that's okay. I'll live. Or die. I don't know. I'm mostly just here to try. Present from the audience. Last bullet rare. All your weapons have one more bullet in the magazine. Neat. So as defender. Ah, and depending on my popularity, I do better. Shot hits. I haven't found. Number of weak spot hits. Oh. Okay, didn't obtain enough votes from this level, and need at least 10 votes. So we could get s any of these things uh, from you guys, if I was streaming this. Guess we'll work on that later. Ah! So we have two points-ish, maybe? I'm not sure. Alright, so higher accuracy, higher damage, bigger ammo, crit to uh, these things, okay. Okay, so there's there goes two of those stat points. I guess we had two of each. Speed wouldn't be a bad idea. Max health, stamina, or defense. Let's go speed. And let's do HP. Let's do double HP. Let's max out. Okay. Oh, opening coffins will lower your popularity, at least if you're not the Slayer. Interesting. Yeah, it seems like this actually has some interesting, um, interesting functionalities here. Uh, I like the progression system. It seems to be based largely on milestones and nothing more. Uh, I'm glad that I have a crosshair. This was going to get kind of annoying if I didn't have one. Hopefully I can get some upgrades for, for my pistol. But I don't know. Okay, let's see. Do we have anything interesting in here? We have one of these. Hey, lockpick. Popularity, bad item. I don't care too much about popularity. I might consider doing it anyway, like going back and getting... Ow, fuck. What was that? Ah! There's more of them. These guys are messing me up. I guess I can't stand in... Deliver. Ha! Getting stuck on many things. Okay, and we succeeded. Explosive triple kill somehow. I don't know. Okay, what's this? Bad item, popularity. Don't care too much. I'm nearly dead. It's a bad sign, usually. Fast reaction. Okay. I do not see... I don't see any kind of clue for this.
Puzzle failed. Well, whatever. I'll live. Locked door. Ah. Well, do we look around? There's got to be a clue for it somewhere. Don't know where it, it would be, though. Seems like the kind of thing I should look for before I proceed, but I don't want to spend too much time here. There's like... There's too much crap in here, too. Makes it hard. And yeah, nothing to do with the curtains. Yeah, I don't get it. Well, whatever. I'll probably go back and look. Maybe there was a clue somewhere that I totally missed. It's hard to exactly say. Okay. Okay, that was fast. What's this? Ooh. Pair of silenced Uzi things. Alright, I'll take it. What else we got here? Magazines. Minus popularity. I'm just going to keep the popularity, mainly because I'm looking for HP here. And I'm not finding much of anything. I wonder if that'll do damage to things. There's a bed stuck in the ceiling. Weird. Okay. I totally ran out of ammo before that. Alright. Well, that didn't work. Want to take those guys out of commission first? Maybe? I don't know. Just got to watch out for this singular... Okay, I think I got one of the snowmen. Yep, I did. All, all that's left are those guys and they explode. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna uh, trade some popularity for some health. Yeah, people don't like that, but people can deal with it. Right, let's see what we got in here. Ow, 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 ow. Fuck. Okay, got that. Didn't take too many spikes. Okay. Kind of wish the enemies were equally susceptible to spikes as I am. Okay, what's this? Rich man. Uh, let's see. Critical hit for every... Ah, $500 I have. Which, suffice to say, ain't much. Okay. So, 12 popularity, a little bit of armor. I'll live. Or not. I don't know. I'm just I'm just here to learn. See how far I can go. So we've already got the health. Not gonna get much from that coffin. We'll switch to these, even though they're not gonna last long at all. I'm just gonna die. Yeah, I'm I I'm I'm looking forward to the, to trying this on stream. Hello, Mr. Snowban. He leads my shots a bit. They don't stop firing. What is the deal with these guns? I have no idea. I'm dying here, and it sucks. At least I'm not taking too much from his... His shots. I just have to watch out for that attack, which was not much of an attack. All right, I'm curious how much uh, gets to transfer over. Number of deaths, too. What? I only died once. All right. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go in randomly. I wanna I wanna see what level my character is. Okay, so the answer looks to be. Is my speed up? No. My, okay, so my character was generated with random stats 
The only things that we keep are the the boss kill items and like some rare other stuff. That makes sense. Oh, well, this is good. This game is gonna take some doing, but it actually seems pretty good on comparison to the, the other FPS roguelikes that I picked up lately. I'm not a big fan of the ambiance or the enemy design and stuff, but it looks like it's got at least kind of halfway decent mechanics. It does feel like a lot of run around the room, turn around and shoot. Like I'm kiting my enemies a little bit too much. And that's a bit of a detractor in my mind. I don't know. Either way, I'm looking forward to streaming this for you guys and having you guys vote on what's going to kill me next. That'll be interesting, I think. Anyway, so if you guys like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, uh, let me know in the comments below and hit subscribe because this actually is probably going to be one that I play at least a couple of times more. Uh, until I either get frustrated or whatever. I don't know. It. I'm not actually sure if this game's fully early access or if it's uh, if it's done. I, I don't know that one. And I'm actually kind of interested in seeing. Come on, don't just give me the Uzi again. Yeah, whatever. At least this character has better max health, so I guess that's kind of a benefit. Well, anyway, I guess with that, I'll see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.